This is the sad story of a tiny three-stripe mud turtle hatchling that survived only two days after it hatched out of its egg uh, with a badly deformed shell. Uh, you can see in that photo uh, the dent in the shell. Here you see that turtle actually hatching from the egg. And at this point, um, everything looked great. And I was excited and I was shooting video. The lighting is not real good. Uh, the eggs uh, usually are partially buried. They're a lot easier uh, for the turtles to exit, but I had them up on the surface here as they were starting to hatch. As I would quickly put them in the hatchling tank uh, downstairs. So you see the little guy, I uh, don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but we'll just call him little guy, uh, breaking out of the egg. And so far so good. I, I didn't see any problems yet until just now. You can, it's a little hard to see because of the lighting, but there's a, a, a big dent in the shell. Uh, can't even imagine where that dent came from because the inside of the egg is round um, or oval, whatever, and uh, there's nothing to push down on the shell, so it must have been some genetic deformity. Uh, it also hatched a bit early with a very large yolk sac. And uh, besides the dent in the shell, the shell was um, bent to the left, like scoliosis or something. So its right leg was kind of where the tail would normally be and, the, and then the left leg was way over towards the side of the body so it was very difficult for this turtle to walk. And as you'll see uh, in a minute also uh, very difficult for it to swim. Uh, the front legs were pulling uh, normally enough but the rear legs were pushing uh, at about a 45 degree angle so it was not uh, able to maneuver very well. Here it made a, an attempt and failed to get into that little dish which is full of water. Um, all the hatchlings head straight to that dish, but this one could not, um, could not do it because of the deformity and also because of the large yolk sac. You can see it struggling here, um, very sad to see, uh, trying to uh, maneuver. I placed it in the hatchling tank to see how it did in the water. Uh, here you can see a photo of it in the hatchling tank, and you can see how badly deformed the shell is. The white spots there are pieces of fish that the turtle was trying to eat, and this is where the story gets very sad. Um, it tried to eat that fish uh, and finally gave up. It could not open its mouth. And when I realized that its mouth was locked shut, I really panicked and was absolutely horrified and called my vet, Dr. Karishi, in Loops, Florida who's an exotic pets specialist, a uh, veterinarian, and uh, took little corkscrew to uh, see him the very, very next day in the morning. And he tried for maybe a half an hour to get the mouth open on this tiny turtle and was not able to do that. And the prognosis was not good at that point. The turtle would, would probably not survive. But I knew I had at least a week uh, at least so I thought, with that large yolk sac, I felt the turtle could survive that long, and maybe uh, its continued development, whatever was locking the jaw, would, would get better. But it didn't take long after this video was shot that the turtle weakened almost by the hour, noticeably, and I knew that uh, things were going downhill, that the turtle had problems beyond just what was visible with the deformity and with the mouth not being able to open. You can see how it struggles to um, move in the water, not just because of the large yolk sac, but because the rear legs are, are not pushing in the same direction, direction as the front legs are pulling. So uh, this, this is really a, a sad story for me because I've only lost two hatchlings in the 10 years I've been taking care of uh, and raising hatchling turtles. Uh, one was a musk turtle that expired after about eight hours, it had a breathing difficulty, never did know what was wrong with it, and I lost that one. That was about five years ago. And otherwise, I've been very, very fortunate that all my turtle hatchlings, whether rescued or hatched out here at home, have done well. Uh, this, this one um, was particularly difficult because it struggled for, for uh, just over two days. And it was made even more difficult than that because it was such a friendly turtle. Most turtles, turtle hatchlings, are, are afraid of you and will flee or try to bite you. But this little guy would actually climb up onto my finger and seem to have a certain uh, affection. And I certainly had affection towards it. And uh, this made the predicament um, all the more devastating.
devastating to me. And I just hoped that it would survive, but it didn't. It expired after two days. Anyway, uh, the other four turtle hatchlings are all hatched out and are healthy. Those are to the left. The one on the far right is a rescue off the street. And all five of them are doing very, very well. And there's two up basking in the hatchling tank. All five are going to be released um, this coming weekend uh, and back into the wild. And hopefully for those turtles, we have a happy ending.